What's on YouTube back with another video today? Today I'm going to play on 2K Microwave. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell. Hello oh, and welcome, basketball fans. We've got some G League action coming your way. Tonight we'll see the Fort Wayne Mad Ants as they play against Team Ignite. Welcome everyone, I'm Blake Suniga. Alongside me today are Brian Benefitemi and Tim Sports. Man, it's good to be with you guys. Always awesome to be here, Blake. Really looking forward to see how this one goes. And I'm expecting both teams to really bring it tonight. Yeah, and these guys know how important it is to play their best in these games, knowing they could be just one game away from making the NBA jump. Back to Vaughn. Count it. Two they get the first bucket. Gone. And they'll hope that sets the tone at the offensive end going forward. Yeah, sometimes that first bucket can, can really set a tone, as you said, for the rest of the game. Now here's MP. Palmer, he's covered by Vaughn. Pass to Mercer. He has. Here's MP. Defended by Anderson. Just five to shoot. Anderson with the steal. Part of what makes the G League so exciting to follow is that it's really an ever-changing league. Two points. Yeah, from the teams, the players, to the rules, it's always evolving. So each season really is anyone's game. Now here's MP. To the paint. And so he earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. First team foul. And it'll be on Eric. Well, Fort Wayne has one G League title, and they won that one back when it was the D League in 2014. Those Mad Ants ripped through the playoffs. Yeah, the Mad Ants didn't drop a single playoff game over three rounds. They went 6-0, and including a sweep of the Santa Cruz Warriors in the finals. Uh, first look here at the former college standout MP. Decided to make the move to the G League for this year. And for his development, it makes sense. Had a good run in college and the tournament, so I'm interested to see how he fares in the G League. And here we are, kicking off the G League season. A lot of games to be played. Well, the traditional G League schedule, 50 games. Not as many as the NBA, but it's still a grind. For many of these players, there'll be more games than they've ever played before. And the speed of the professional game, something incoming players always talk about. It's not as fast as the NBA, but it's a world apart from college. It'll take some getting used to for many first-year G League. That's his first personal foul. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Pass to Palmer. Just five on the clock. Back to MP. Doesn't go that time. So Fort Wayne will take it the other way. And now they decide to foul intentionally. MP. Right. That's his first. I have no idea why he's fouling there. Maybe there's a little there's a bad little blood bad between those two. Maybe, I mean, that's the only explanation for it. And even then, it's not a very good one. And MP, an immediate starter. Team Ignite felt that his talent was good enough to start right off the bat. And with a younger team like this, talent wins out. Not a surprise to see MP starting. He'll just need to perform so his spot is justified. MP on the way. Shot to end the cold run. Good work defensively by Anderson. Stevenson on the wing, covered by Diaz. Erickson, high post. Up top, Stevenson, covered by Diaz. Vaughn goes in, and the layup's good off the glass. Hey, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint, and they keep scoring points. And you know, Brian, there's not really a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting in the paint like they have been in the And an intentional foul right there. The only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Floor for the Mad Ants. Shooting. And when you look at the G League, there are so many new teams, but the one constant are the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. Well, they've been a member of the league all the way back to 2007. Of course, the most memorable season was 2K19. What a run they had led by AI. Remember him? Great memories there. And uh, 
just about a minute and a half is passed here in the second quarter. Stevenson, he's guarded by Peterson. Clock at six. Vaughn outside. There's the triple. You know, he started out shooting pretty well, but uh, really has faltered here in the second. Rebound battle split about evenly. Yeah, neck and neck on the glass. Just one aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game. And we love the close games. Absolutely. Down low. Yes, and a nice assist from Anderson. And it's a tie ball game. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes. And here's MD from the arc. The rebound by Hodges. He's having all sorts of problems with this shot. The way he's shooting the ball right now. Yeah, the words ice and cold come to mind. <laughs> now here's Diaz. For Vaughn. And he tries off glass, but it's no good. Yeah, the G League hit hard by the pandemic, along with really every other league in the world, every sport. They had to cancel the end of the 2020 season. They played a shortened season in 2021 in a bubble in Orlando. There, Chris, passing has opened things up offensively. Yeah, it makes the game easy. Ten straight points off of an assist. Um, that's impressive. MP with it. He's covered by Vaughn. Two minutes from now to MP. Two minutes. Diaz. Mercer with the screen. Back to Diaz. MP outside. On the wing, Diaz. Takes the three. It's hauled in by the Mad Ants. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And with the G League, they ended up with a bubble season, and that made for some intense basketball. And I feel like that was the right choice for the G League because teams were still able to develop their youth, and it was done in a safe and controlled environment. Now here's Vaughn. Eight points for him. His shot has been off today, and with his 10 leading, uh, perhaps he should focus more on his floor game. Again, Diaz missing. The Mad Ants with the lead. Stevenson outside. Erickson. Vaughn covered by MP. Pass to Vaughn. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Erickson. He found the perfect spot behind the arc. A big gap in the defense. And look at this Team Ignite roster. It is special. A ton of talent jumping off the roster sheet. They'll need to fuse it all together over the course of the season, but this is one of the most talented Team Ignite rosters we've seen. A lot can happen over the course of the year. Now here's Diaz. MP. He's covered by Vaughn. He's in for three. Again, the miss by Team Ignite. Now here's Vaughn. Anderson. Hodges with the screen. For three. Anderson, no good. To the middle. Will it go? And MP lays it in. Athletic play from MP inside, getting around the traffic and finding a shot. With the floater. And the first half That's comes here. In a game that has been very close so far. The Mad Ants on top. They're up by three. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. And with the first half behind us, what have you seen from MP so far in this one? I think he played it a little too safe in the first half. He's not giving the ball away, but he hasn't done a whole lot to spark the offense. Well, if I'm a point guard, I'm disappointed with these totals. It's, it's good to, to limit turnovers, but you need to make things happen. You need to orchestrate. This is Stevens. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Pass to Palmer. Back to MP. Diaz, defended by Stevenson. Hodges with the steal. He was on that pass in a flash. Read it, reacted, and picked it off. And you look at Team Ignite, it's a great way to get experience and prepare for the NBA draft. You can't overlook how paramount a professional type of environment, professional development is. 
You know, on this team, the prospects can eat and sleep basketball 24-7. It's the only thing on the menu. You can't get that anywhere else. Back to Stevenson. Outside Hodges. Pass to Stevenson. Stevenson. Anderson. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. On the wing, Diaz. Back to MP. Goes back up. And you look at how the G League is attracting top high school talent. Second what do you think that'll do to the college game? It could be good in that we probably see fewer one and done. Universities can now focus on players who might be there for a while, and that could help continuity, which is a big plus. And the big names for Team Ignite are part of the one-year program. They get compensated well as they prepare for the NBA draft. The team serve for your team ignite. Fort Wayne substitution. Here's Bautista. He got it up in time, but it That's wouldn't fall for it. Quarter. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Team Ignite ahead, leading by 10. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. As we approach the final quarter, what do you think the focus should be for MP now? Well, it's been an up and down game for him, and that's putting it nicely. Just hasn't gotten it done tonight. I'm not sure what to make of tonight. We know his talent level, but it's just not translating onto the floor. Anderson on the wing. From the arc, cans it from downtown. His presence to score has a calming effect for them. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. outside tried to come right back with a three of his own but it's no good he hasn't really done much on the offensive end but he has worked within the team to help them get the lead and let's see if they can hold on to it and the basket by Stevenson superb assist he played the role of maestro on that one and here's MP Puts up the three. Fort Wayne grabs the miss. Just nothing is going down for him today. Vaughn outside. Right side, Hodges. That one doesn't drop. Mercer, nice D there. Pass to Bautista. To the inside. And MP gets him to go. What intensity from MP in the paint. Not allowing the contact to hold him back. Outside Hodges. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Here's Vaughn. Mercer, nice D there. Team Ignite with the lead. Pass to Bautista. Back to MP. Hodges with the steal. Stevenson outside. Now here's Vaughn. He's guarded closely. Here's Baxter. Off target with the three. I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Looked good here, too. I'm as shocked as you. MP inside. Defended by Anderson. MP no good. It hasn't been an easy quarter for him, offensively speaking. Vaughn with it, guarded now by Diaz. And took the opportunity when he saw it. They're living and dying from beyond the arc in this second half. MP outside. Anderson with the steal. Tries from seven. Connects. The jumper drops. But you've got to love this energy right now. They got high right when they absolutely had to. Yeah, and now their only goal is to stay hot. Not much time left to complete this comeback. They've got to get it done now. Sharp steal.
steal and the run out. It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. We've been waiting for one of these teams to pull away. Maybe that would be a springboard. Maybe it'll inspire them. Inspire them. I mean, a dunk like that, coming off a great defensive play, has to build up some momentum. Your team on the left, Manuel Lawson. MP, defended by Anderson. Remain to the floor for the Madness. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes inside. And that time, also missed the shot. Inside. And then Erickson with the dunk. What incredible timing on the alley-oop. And he absolutely hammered it down. What a feed. That's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. On the wing, Diaz. Lawson outside. Back to Diaz. Stevenson with the steal. Matt Ant's pushing it up now. Anderson with the ball. Started now by Diaz. Shot is good. Are these teams really beating off each other now in terms of energy. It must have been some kind of speech at halftime as both sides have picked things up. What do you think the coaches were saying, Tim? Palmer, covered by MP. And Ant's pushing it up now. And down it goes. Two points. Anderson. A nice fast break from start to finish. And what a finish it was, guys. Just so pretty. The pass, the dunk, everything. Pass to Diaz. MP. Now here's Lawson. Hodges covering. Here's MP for three. G can't get that one. And Fort Wayne the other way now. And so they foul and catch his fourth. And here's Anderson. Vaughn outside. To the inside. Lawson with the steal. That was a forced pass. I like the idea of trying to get the ball inside, but he didn't have the space to do it. Foul, David Vaughn. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. He drops the first one. And that brings them within five. Taking two shots. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. And now we've got the intentional foul. That's his fifth personal foul. Shooting First free throw is good. And that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven point ball game. Those foul shots put them that much more in the driver's seat. Let's hear it for you. Substitution for Team Ignite. Fort Wayne substitution. Shooting free. And they go to the intentional foul. Edwin Palmer. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Mad Ants, David Vaughn. Shooting two. Good on the first. And that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. And it's a seven-point ball game. Boy, I'd settle Boy, for I'd having settle as many points in the game as he has rebounds. Right now, we're really witnessing something special. So the Mad Ants win it. A very frustrating evening for MP. He never got it going. He's got a lot to look at when he goes over the tape of this game. Yeah, and I think when he watches that tape, he's not going to be happy. I mean, this was not a good performance to set back as he tries to get to the NBA. You know, the key is this, guys. What did he do going forward? Does he use tonight as first? Yo, 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 you yo, yo, yo. look tired. Bro, yeah, the schedule bro, yeah, ain't no schedule. joke, man. Well, oh, it's working. It's working. Me opening a lot of eyes, bro. I reached out to a couple of reporters and a lifestyle reporter and a beat reporter are willing to sit down. Come on, when am I going to have time for all that? Nah, you don't. 
really. But I mean, you can make time. You can make time for one of them at least. Yeah, all right, look, just give me the guy number. I'll make the call. I never said they were guys. I mean, that's a really old school way of thinking. I mean, yeah, in this case, they are both guys. But all right, anyway, now nah, you can go meet him somewhere in the city. But let me know if this sounds like something you'd be interested in. I'll just show you where they're going to be at on the map. Yeah, all right, cool. Oh, one last thing. I've been doing research on both of these borders all day. So let me know if you need help making a decision. Okay, so who's this beat reporter? Uh, John Luck. He's a really great writer. Well, I'm not going to lie, he's actually pretty basic. But there's a ton of people to read, including some in the NBA. Now, he'd be great to establish such a serious, trustworthy, level-headed. But he's not going to let you express your individuality much. Yeah, it is a trade It is a trade Definitely good if you want to go for that more corporate vibe. Okay, look, I hear you. Let me just... Let me think about this one. Yeah, I think I'm, I think yeah, I'm good. I appreciate it. I'm gonna just I'm gonna think it through. Think it through. Yeah, man. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. How you doing, John? Hey, what's going on? Name's MP. MP. Nice to be here. <laughs> Yo, just Yo, thank you just for agreeing to meet with me. This is exciting. exciting. No problem, man. Hey, no your friend Ricky is Ricky not is an easy guy to say no to, to, but I don't have a lot of time, so I'll just ask so you a few questions, questions, and then I'll write something up and introduce you to our readers. That sounds dope. All right, so now you're playing professional basketball. This has to be a dream come true for you. Absolutely. I mean, ever since I was a kid, I've been the happiest with a ball in my hand, and now I get paid doing for like I get to get paid doing what I love. Yes. Love, you, know you know what? I know exactly what you mean. You always dreamed about, you being, always a dreamed about being a writer? I know. Uh, I'm um, astronaut. astronaut. But, uh, but uh, man, uh, space is man, a tough racket. racket. So what's been the, so biggest, what's been the biggest surprise during your time during here, your with, time the here with the Ignite Squad? I guess, I guess you know how well it's going. Well I'm not saying it's I'm been easy, it's but, been it easy wasn't but it wasn't 100% sure, what to, sure what to expect. And I think I've adjusted think pretty I've well. Adjusted pretty I gotta well. say, you are not short of confidence. confidence. You know, I like to think you know, I'm pretty like good in my craft, so yeah. All right, man, great answer. Okay, last one. So you're looking into a crystal ball. Where are you 10 years from now? 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. Can't worry about 10 years from now. I just know that today I've got to keep getting better. And that's every day in every way. The future will take care of itself, John. So you're saying you don't daydream about the future? Sure I do. Sure I do. But those dreams are just there to push me forward because the only way to get there is to actually do the work. I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. I'm crossing the line today. Mr. Torres? Mr. Torres? MP, right? MP, yeah. right? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, good, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I got this deadline. I'm already past due, but I'm not going to send you back to Ricky. Tell him I didn't even have time to ask you a few questions. So, uh, your boy's got some hustle, by the way. Seems like a good guy to have in your corner. Oh, look, no doubt, man. I don't know where I'd be without him helping me with all this stuff. It just allows me to focus on the court, you know, nothing but ball. Yeah, I mean, you certainly look like you're focusing on the court out there. But, you know, on the on-court stuff, I mean, I feel like everybody can see that. You know what I mean? What I'm more interested in is what makes you tick. Makes you too. All right. So All right. a year so from now, a year let's from say, now, right? Let's say, you're stepping right? off the you're bus at an bus NBA arena. NBA arena. What's going through your mind? What's going through your mind? Uh, so uh, since I know so I got my headphones got on, my headphones it's probably on. just probably whatever music just I'm whatever listening, music to, in listening to in the moment. So getting in the zone. So in the yeah. zone. Any, uh, Any favorite uh, pregame music? Or? music or? Uh, I like to keep up uh, with like the current music. You know what I'm saying? I'm really into like rapping and culture and hip hop and just that whole thing. Yeah. It sounds like you're doing more than just listening. You a musician too? You know, I've been known to spit a bar too. Okay. I hope you're good, man. You're good, man. You know, there's nothing, yeah. there's nothing, nothing worse than a worse ball player than a ball butchering player rap as a hobby. How you know I'm not a rapper, know butchering, rapper butchering, butchering basketball? That's a hobby. That's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I like the confidence. I like the confidence. Okay, well, this okay, has been well, eye-opening, eye and uh, I'm sure and, my readers, yeah, will, agree. Sure my readers will agree. Yeah, you're, you're welcome, yeah, man. You're and welcome, do, man. do I owe you anything for the food, or or how does this work? interview? First interview. Yeah, I have a feeling it won't be your last. Ah, uh, no. Uh, no. MP, you're good, man. MP, Don't worry about it. Hey, I appreciate this so much, Andrew. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. I see you around. Yeah, yeah. Take care, man. Yeah. Guys, I will see you in the next video. I'm out.